Anna Cat? George? Hello, my fellow sniffers. Welcome to Parent Tip Tuesday. My name is Marlene McCohen, and today we are going to be doing an outdoor aviary tour. This is gonna be exactly like a cage tour, but bigger. So if you're looking for a cage tour, you have also come to the right place. Now, for those of you who follow my channel regularly, guess what? All of my birds, except for Rocky, of course, are in this one aviary. If you watch my story time Sunday, you'll see that my dad got us this outdoor aviary last week and just today we got it set up. So let's take a tour and I'll show you exactly what we have done so far. Let me show you guys how we get in. First of all, this is the lock. I'm gonna be putting something much more difficult to open on the outside so that nobody can get in if they don't know the code, obviously, because I want it to be really safe for the birds. Cody seems pretty eager for me to get in. What are you doing? Hanging out? Cody's excited for me to enter. Here's the funny thing. If I go in here, I can lock myself in. It's happened to all of us so far, and we've only had this thing set up for maybe an hour. So here we go. I think they're doing pretty well. Remember, my birds are flighted. Look at Cody. He's all excited. So I'm going to close the door, and I'm going to give you the tour. This is obviously a very big cage because I am standing in it. We actually assembled it ourselves. We were under the impression that they were going to do delivery and set up. We bought it at the show, but they actually just delivered it and we had to set it up ourselves. I use the term we loosely. George obviously set it up. Every little piece he had to put together with a tool. I don't know what kind of tool, but maybe like a wrench or something. Oh, there's Jenna. <laughs> Jenna's here making sure I don't get locked in. Sitting there like a millennial on her phone. Just for those of you that might be interested in setup, each one of these little things had to be put on. Cody's um, destroying my... Hi, Cody, acting like Bat Bird. Here's what it looks like inside, by the way. Cody is on my head right now. We took the time to make sure that each bird had a good setup. So Picasso's obsessed with this toy, right? Picasso, are you obsessed? Yeah. Do you think that everyone should have this toy for their bird? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll tell them how to get this toy. If you're interested in this toy, by the way, we can never have enough of these. They make the cage, the aviary, the bird's tree look beautiful, and you can do a lot of things with them. If you're interested in this toy, I will put the link below. It's in products I love. Go in there and order this. You will not be sorry. Just keep an eye on it, because when it turns into this wire, you want to remove it. The great thing about it is you can always replace and put other pieces of wood like I showed you with that wood box. When we put this together today we weren't even sure that we had anything for it we were planning on buying more stuff for it and then putting it together and I was gonna do like a tour for you guys of me building it but what happened was we realized we actually had more things available for it than we thought so this is what we started with we had got some of these perches at the bird show they mimic real branches I love things like this it's better for their feet there's different sizes because birds feet they need to have different levels where they can grab just different sizes in general so their feet don't get used to one position. It's not really orthopedic for the birds. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind when you're setting up a cage or an aviary is to always have spots that are complete. What is a complete spot? Here we have a perch, and next to the perch we have a toy. So you want there to be an activity nearby each situation and also a way for them to eat. Here's something else that we did, which I think was a really good idea. We knew we were lacking in materials, or we thought we were for inside the aviary, so we put this little tree. This was a great option, and Jersey's obviously loving it. She's standing on the top. You guys will notice this tree is not a normal tree. There's some PVC pipe attached to it to make it higher and bigger than it is. That's something that you can always do with these manzanita trees. We have a swing attached to it. 
We have another swing that they can chew up attached to it. And you can always move things and put them in new spots. That's something that we do a lot. So let me show you guys this tree. So this right here is the manzanita tree that we just put in the center. And I'm pretty happy with that because Jersey is really loving it. And because we put it so close to this toy hanging that I knew Picasso would love, she's also been added a little bit, right Jersey? She likes to feel like the king of the jungle in the center. She's taken to it pretty quick. Remember, we just put these birds in here an hour. So let's go over some spots. So here's another section. Again, we put a perch with a food bowl and we'll pretty soon find a toy to go here, which we still have yet to do. We're gonna be adding some toys. There's Picasso in his section that I told you about next to his toy. And this branch goes from one side all the way to the other. What's great about this is Vinny likes it. So we put Vinny's mirror. Vinny loves mirrors. It's a good idea if you're having multiple birds that you know can get along fine together to give them each their own section where they feel like things that they like are next to it. We knew that Vinny would like this. Hi, Cody. Are you in your corner? Cody's corner has what's called a foraging perch. So there's lots of little things that he can peel off. We have his food next to it. And we have this really cool rope perch. Cody really enjoys it. I like to give them levels. So you could see that he has a toy up there. Cody's toy up there is okay because he hangs upside down like a bat bird, right? He was doing bat bird earlier, which is really cute. Let's go over a few cage tour tips. Tip number one. Make sure each bird has its own station. Now, if these were cages inside, you know that my birds each have their own cage. Let's say we're talking about your bird's cage setup and you just have one bird, which is how it should be, by the way. Don't put multiple birds in one cage unless you know that they are bonded. Even with one bird, you wanna make sure that they have a station. So it's food, perch, toy. We took care to make sure that there was some form of a toy next to every station. This station right here leads itself to where Jersey is and it also leads itself to Cody's station. We didn't really know at the time who was going to be obsessed with what section. We knew this would be Picasso's section so he has his toy right next to his stand and right next to his water. We also have Picasso here right now. Picasso's exploring, right? Maybe because yeah, he's eating some fresh banana that we put in here. So his perch is close to some bowls and he's utilizing it, which is really exciting. Same over here in Cody's corner. This is Cody's station. He has his food bowl, which they will often stand on top of. A lot of the times birds use their bowls for purchase. So be aware of that. And he has his toy up here. So he has a toy, he has his perch, and he has a food bowl. That's what I call a station. Now there's gonna be a lot more toys in here. We literally just set this up an hour ago with things that we had. We're gonna have a lot more fun in a little bit adding some things to it. What is Vinny's station? Vinny, guys, is obsessed with boxes. Vinny loves boxes. Let me show you Vinny on his box. There's nothing in the box, just him playing with it. Right, Vinny? This made him feel included right away. We have a little mirror down there for him. This way we can have levels. Tip number two. Always have some type of food dish close to a perch. And if you have multiple birds in the aviary, birds that get along, make sure they get along, let them have their own bowls so that they're not territorial and fighting. So this right here is going to be Cody's corner. He has a dish right here. He's already liking his corner. Jersey has her tree, right Jersey? I'm not sure which bird is gonna claim this, but it's open. I'm thinking Jersey will claim it. Picasso has claimed this section, which I knew he would. And he's got his dish down here next to a perch. So always make sure that there's perches close to the dishes. If you look at this perch right here, this long one going across, there's dishes here that are coming from the tree that Jersey is on. Always make sure that there is access to food and water next to every perch. Tip number three. Always put a toy next to their station. Here we have a toy for Cody. This is Vinny's favorite thing. This is Vinny's mirror. Vinny tends to stand on the stand. It's only been an hour, but. 
Oh, he ate fresh banana. So cute. This is a toy for Picasso. Really make the toys accessible for them and entertaining. You don't want them to get bored. Look at this girl. Now we know that she likes to stand here. So for Jersey, we're going to place a lot of toys up here on the ceiling. Tip number four. This is my favorite thing because I'm a clean freak. When you are arranging the purchase, do not put one underneath the other if at all possible. Let me show you why. Well, we know what birds do. They make a little mess. If Picasso was to make any droppings right here, we don't want a perch underneath it where he can just make a mess of. You want to really think about the dynamic of these things so that everything is kind of not directly on top of something else. If you do that, you're going to have a lot of work cleaning purchase but if you avoid this from the beginning cleanup can be very simple this one is close to this one but not directly under it and then this one's under this something that we really took care to do so we wanted everything underneath every perch to be clean and free are they gonna make some messes sure but it's a good idea to do your best to keep the perches clean right Jersey tip number five this is gonna be really important for if you have a cage or an aviary outside. You wanna make sure that your birds have shade. So if you'll notice, my birds are always under an awning. The Rocky's in there. He doesn't have a top on his cage right now, but he is under an awning. And if you look at the aviary, it's got a roof. This is really important, not only for shade, but also for hawks. You don't want any hawks to get any wind that you have birds nearby, or they really will start lurking around and you'll notice them. Depends on where you live, but you always gotta be safe from animals. Number six. This is really important. Let's talk about the spacing on the bars of a cage. This aviary has really great spacing because none of the birds can fit their head through the bars. That's very important when you are choosing a cage or an aviary for your bird. Hi, Cody. See, Cody cannot get his head through here. What I really like though about this cage in particular is that you'll notice no other animal could really get claws in. If you look at Rocky's cage over here, hey Rocky, come say hi Rocky. He's gonna stick his head through this thing right now. He has pulled off that bar right there. So he's getting his head through. <laughs> you never want your bird to be able to get his head through. Rocky can get his head out of it, so that's okay. But if Picasso, let's say, was in a large cage like Rocky's, or even Jersey's cage, and he could get his head through, he might panic and not be able to get it out. So that's very important. Just don't have these extra bars, you'll see. Normal cages don't have bars like this, but these are great for the outside so other animals cannot attack your bird. If you guys remember in a previous video, I discussed with you how raccoons can stick their hands through cages and that's dangerous for your parrots. So always keep that in mind. This is gonna be specifically for a cage, like an indoor cage. What do you put at the bottom? If your cage is indoors, I love these. These right here, incontinence pads. Yeah, they're like adult bed pads. You can also get them for kids. They're amazing, they open up large, and I put them at the bottom of my bird's cage. You can put it under the bars in the cage for easy cleaning, or you could put it above. But if you put it above, make sure your bird is not going to chew it. On that note, do not use doggy pee pads, because although it may seem like a good idea, it has chemicals in it that is not safe. So remember, these are what you need to get. In my link below of products I love, I have these listed. That's where I order them from on Amazon. You will not be sorry once you start using these. You can put them on your floor too, just to be safe around the cages if need be. I have not put anything at the bottom of this aviary yet. I gotta get right to that. But let me share with you guys what we are gonna put at the bottom of this. And the reason we have to put something on the bottom is because this aviary is not really on the grass. It would be a good idea if it was on the grass because then any mess that the birds make could be absorbed by the grass. But we have sprinkler systems, so we can't do that. We don't want any of this to rust. This is stainless steel, so it's really nice and safe for the birds. This right here, painter's plastic. It's black, it comes in a big roll. It's called 
black plastic sheeting i'll put this below in the products i love this stuff is amazing for under birds cages for in birds cages as long as your bird doesn't have the urge to chew it if they do you just put it underneath the bars we're gonna put this at the bottom of the aviary but if you guys remember we haven't set it up yet we're just gonna open it up cut it and put it at the bottom i'm gonna get locked in here and then i'm gonna need my sister to come rescue me she's not even out here anymore hi cody are you having a good time? Yeah. I can't believe I'm in here with my birds. I just want to stay in here. This is really good for them to get vitamin D and some fresh air. Picasso already feels comfortable. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Vinny's right here. Handsome Vinny. Let's give you guys more of a tour. So this is me from the corner of their aviary. Cody's really taken to his corner. Vinny's very busy with his boxes. Good girl, did you see good girl? Yeah. What about you, Jersey? Find the footsie up, that's good. Who do you guys think was the first bird to take to the aviary and perch himself on one of the perches. I knew right away who it was gonna be because I just think he's like the smartest bird. Oops, I gave away that it's a he. Okay, who do you think it was out of the boys? Take a guess, pause this video and write it down. Write it in the comments. Okay, you're back. The answer is Picasso. Everyone was clung to these bars and then suddenly in like 10 seconds Picasso went and found himself a perch. He's so smart. He's so chill in here. I think he's really enjoying it. Now remember, bringing your birds outdoors is really great for fresh air, for vitamin D. You also wanna make sure that the weather conditions are good for your bird. The aviary is gonna have misters. We already have the misters for the summer. And it's gonna have heated perches, which we already bought and I will show you. So they'll have a little heater that they can get close to just in case and a nice warm perch. Also, we have for the birds, I'll show you guys. You could probably see it already. Do you see that right there? That is a music control. I turned the music off right now because this is a YouTube video and I need you guys to hear me, but I have the dial right there so that they can enjoy relaxing music all day long and they can learn and maybe Cody can learn some commercials, which I think will be really cute. Cody's so happy in his corner, I love it. So overall, this is me in the aviary. It's pretty big, it's pretty cool, it's very exciting. We have so much fun to set up. Watch me on Instagram, guys, at Marlene McCohen. You'll always be able to see what I'm doing with the birds. And as I put up new things, you can see me coming in here and hanging out with them. I'm pretty happy that Jersey's content. See, she's in her sleep mode. Obviously, don't forget about your birds when they're out here. This is just for them to enjoy some sun. All of my birds kind of get along. If you notice any birds fighting, you don't want to put them together. For the most part, they've all taken over their own section. Some birds have certain things with pecking orders. If you read Alex and Me by Dr. Irene Pepperberg, you'll see that one of her greys wanted to be the first one to be noticed and one wanted to be the highest. I think Jersey's kind of like that. She's really excited to be not only the highest, but in the center. Kind of like the queen of the castle. My little girl, she's so cute. I love you. Mmm, you sniff so good. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this aviary slash cage tour. I hope you have enough tips to set up your cage or your aviary outside. Remember, each bird should have its own cage unless it's an aviary where they can all have their own space. If you have any birds that fight or do not get along, do not put them together. These birds have been together for years except Cody's kind of new, that's why he has his own little corner. But they don't fight for the most part, so everything is good. All my birds are flighted. Hopefully they have a little space to kind of flap their wings in here. Vinny's very busy with his box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Parent Tip Tuesday. I am so excited. If you like any of the products that you see in here, they will all be below in the products I love. 
Check it out, save it, bookmark the link because you can always go there for new parrot toys and new parrot references and things I use to clean. I made it really easy for you guys. Come join our Facebook page, Parrot Station. Yes, I'm loving this page. And also check out the new community tab right here on my channel where I am communicating with you kind of like my own newsfeed. So if you're looking for a video or you're wondering when something's going to be up or even if you want to put your two cents in, I just had a vote the other day on which video I should put up. You guys helped me a lot. So check out my community page. Of course, subscribe. Thank you so much, guys, for subscribing. And like, comment, and thumbs up this video if you love my birdies and want to see more of them. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. You letting me out of here? Yeah, I was on standby. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I love you all the birdies. Give me kisses now. Your... Oh, that's such a good bird. Escape artist, escape artist. But I need to let you out. Yeah. All right. Oh, look at his little footies. Do you miss me? I miss you. Oh, he's so beautiful.